Hey guys, welcome back to The Sims 3 Island Paradise. We are now underwater, here in Rocky Reef, with fish galore, because once again, I reset everything in the game, so that means stuff is working beautifully. Like a turd just dropped over there. I think it was a sea polyp, but whatever. It is something, and we will pick it up and sell. Look at all these eels, dude. It's amazing. Plumber and a fisherman. Sure. Unclog those pipes. I will take all the money because we still need to own a resort. But another thing that we have to achieve this episode is... Well, I don't know. We've got the diving. We could do the scuba diving thing. That's a guarantee. That's one that's easy. I'm in full control. There's no chance associated with it. So we will turn into a mermaid at some point. And continue to put the moves on Mia Azul. Because we need her to take us to the mermaid secret still, and that I don't have control over. Aside from... Doing all the flirtatious things. Yes! Level 7! Mad Dog can now scuba dive in the mermaid grotto. Beautiful. There's another chest. There's two chests in there. One of which we need to be level 8 scuba diving to open. The other we could open as soon as we first dive down there. And I believe that's the one that has another map piece. And that would then guarantee... Completion of the underwater map collection, which is good. And then it's just down to the bottles, which is stupid. But man, I am loving all of these fish. Look at this money. Soggy, slimy money in my pocket. Remember in the 90s, those little tubes that you could hang like a necklace around your neck? For just a couple rolls of money at the beach? I don't think they make those things anymore, but I remember it. It was them and the fanny packs, man. Fanny. A word that means two different things depending on where you live. You could also tell somebody to stop being a fanny, which is weird to me when you consider the other possible meanings of the word fanny. <laughs> eh. I don't know. English. It's weird. That was not useful to me. I was hopeful, but no map. Of course, there wouldn't be. I didn't change the seashell spawners down here, just the fish. But yeah, I'm loving how many I've collected. That never happens. Usually you get one or two, and then it's just emptiness. Vast emptiness. And that is the difference from a freshly generated cache file, I guess, versus having played for about an hour or so. But we've been over that. So we have to own a resort, but we can't even get started on that until I have a lot of money, because I'm not going to convert Hobart's hideaway, that cheap one. Of course, all these islands that I'm finding, you could always convert them into a resort and build on those. And it is possible at some of those locations to create a five-star resort, resort pretty easily. But once again, you kind of need the startup funds. But for the sake of not wanting to really spend too much time in build and buy mode... Yes, the seahorses, man. Seriously, how many fish has, have I picked up just now in this dive? This is a record. <laughs> For me, anyway. This will be good. So yeah, I think that's the plan this time. We're gonna... Go to Mermaid Grotto next, because we just got level 7 scuba diving. So we'll open that treasure chest, get the map piece, see what else we could find down there. That's another completely unaltered dive spot. I did nothing there. It's really bright and colorful, too. It's hard to find stuff in that one in particular, because there's just so much decoration. Yes. Mad Dog McCracken. Tired on a jet ski. Riding off into the night. Or I guess it would be morning, right? It's almost going to be morning time. Yes. Something about turning on, around the corner. That's just satisfying to me. I don't know why, but it is. So, shut up. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Yes, morning time. Then the morning comes. And we need to barbecue something. What about roasted grapes? We never got around to that, and it sounds delectable. 
I've never cooked a grape. I'm not sure what would happen, honestly. But in The Sims, anything goes. They're very nice quality. Can you brown a grape? I have questions about this. Clearly. And then it's off to bed, I said. What, do you want to end up dead? No, I want to end up banging a mermaid. That is another goal in the background. And we will get there. Hopefully. She keeps rejecting crap, though. Look out, mad dog. It's coming for you. The sun. Sleeping in front of the diner in your sleeping bag. It's coming! Now, he's not a vampire. It'll be all right. I wonder, does he wake up instantly as soon as the sun drapes over his eyes? <laughs> he does! Look at that! The <laughs> attention to detail that I never noticed before. Nudist? Yes, I never nudist before. That's true, too. Hmm. Hmm. I got suntan through the sleeping bag. Realism. Hungry much? How about wake up in front of a diner? How convenient is that? That's actually outstanding. Why don't we sleep outside all the time? In real life, I mean. Babes on the beach. Sounds like my kind of place. Mad Dog. There's a lot of ways you could play with Mad Dog. That's, that could be, that's Rocky Reef. Could be misinterpreted is what I was gonna say. Davy Jones Locker, where the heck is the grotto? In the grotto? Yes. Well, since it's way over there, we have to be smart about this. So we will run to the shoreline there to create less time water traveling. Not that it matters because we're not a mermaid yet. So we will be smart and use a boat to get there, which is still pretty quick. But once you're a mermaid, you have to really route how you travel about this landscape to avoid swimming for any length of time. I mean, enough to get your hydration back up. But that's pretty easy anyway. So this is the closest spot to the dive location, so we will go here. Actually, you know what? Let's jog with good pacing because this builds athletic skill, which is going to lead to more money, promotion as a lifeguard, and it's good. Look at all the wishes. Phone's ringing, dude. Oh, the tan turned into a sunburn. No sweat. Hey, how convenient. I will definitely do that. Don't break a sweat. We will achieve an opportunity. What about, what are the chances of the timing of that? There's no way you could predict that. Yes, athletic level four, mad dog. Going to the mermaid grotto ever so daintily. <laughs> kind of looks weird in fast motion. Like he's got to really take a dump or something. All right. Let's go to the mermaid grotto, a new dive spot for new treasures and pleasures. Sweating profusely. Well, go underwater. That'll help. Yes, look at this place. Look at all the little purpley things. It's quite purple. We got a cave we can explore and woohoo in. And this treasure chest. This is the one that we can open. Oh, a shark. Don't pee yourself. I'm surprised he didn't. Normally it's instantaneous. Cancels everything out. We got all these promises for Mia. Or is it Maya? I think this is the one with the map piece, unless it is the level 8 chest. Yes, look at the colors, man! What a cool shot! You got crap, none of which was a map! Five diamonds, though. And 2,000 simoleons, so it must be the other chest. Hmm. Yes, money is good. I still don't know if it's worth it to cut them or just sell them. But we've got our Mermatic Kelp, and now this is the point that I was alluding to previously on X-Men. There was a shark in my face. 
No, it was, um... Remember how I said... Make sure you go to bed or you'll end up dead. No, I said that once you hit level 7 in scuba diving, it takes a very long time to gain any more levels. So this would be the opportune moment to transform into a mermaid. And... What's the word I'm looking for? Grace? No. Swim ever so gracefully through the underwater environs. But that's not how I wanted to say it. I don't know where I'm going, but this is a cool place. A beautiful school of ugly fish. <laughs> There's the other chest and the cave. This cave. Actually, I don't think it does much. It might lead to Pearl's Deep. We will have to explore. Is that Johnny Sylvester? That sounds like a gangster name. Get some kelp we could harvest. We've got an air pocket in the cave. That's, that's always nice when you find that when you're exploring because it does reset or at least adds an hour to whatever your current status of breathing is, which right now is breathing comfortably. But even if you were breathing uncomfortably, it would add an hour to that time before you start gasping for air, which is the dangerous one because if you don't get out at that point, you're dead. I believe everything is on the outskirts of this one, like through the kelp forest. Yes, see? There's a fish. We got a cowrie shell too, that's worth nothing. I wonder, does a cowrie shell look like a cow? That was dumb. That was just stupid. Wait, let's adjust the camera and actually go swimming as if we, this is a first person game. It's kind of neat. Pretty empty, really. The middle part is more exciting, but I seem to remember all of the noteworthy pickups are around the outskirts here in this particular dive spot. I thought so, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of Pearl's Deep. No, that one's even crazier. But yeah, see, look at this. This is like a 900 something dollar shell. That's a good one. I don't know about this place, it's neat. We're back where we started, Tragic Clownfish. Isn't there something about the Tragic Clown in The Sims 4? Or no, it was The Sims 3 Supernatural. Which I never purchased or installed, but I have discovered you can debug all the alchemy potions that come with that pack. And that is actually something worth considering. Since we know I'm not above using these little debug cheats. Javier. There's people down here. That's surprising to me. Because this is one of the this is the second to last dive spot. Yes, 897. Normally it's 900 something. I'm a little bit disappointed. But I also believe this is one of the dive spots that has a spawner. Like that one that I just picked up. I think sometimes that could be a bottle. Which would be nice. An octopus! Are octopuses really that small in real life? Because I've even been to aquariums and I've seen things that are claimed to be called an octopus and... I don't know, I guess maybe I watched movies or something? I thought they were like these giant things. Or maybe they could be, maybe there's different types. For as much as I love underwater things, there are some things that creep me out and octopuses are one of them. I don't know, just that idea of being strangled and unable to escape by some creature that also stings you. Well, I guess it tries to make love to you or something. Ugh. That's why I don't eat sushi as well. I remember reading some horror story about some woman who ate octopus as sushi. Yeah, it's a disgusting story. I don't even know if I want to share it. Of course, now I've probably piqued your curiosity, unless you know exactly the story I'm about to say. If I say it. Well, I mean, basically what happened was she ate some kind of prepared octopus dish. Bills are now over a hundred simoleons. We have plates. 
Yeah, that happens with the kleptomaniac thing sometimes. Every now and then when they eat at a diner, they take home a plate, they steal it. But you can return it, and that actually gives them a plus 15 mood boost or something like that. So it's not too bad. And we can roast some more grapes. We don't have to work anytime soon, so we don't have to do the coffee bean. But yeah, the lady that ate the octopus as sushi or whatever it was. I guess while she was eating it, she bit into some kind of egg. Like a... However, octopus's mate, and it latched on. It was like, I don't know what, but it latched onto her mouth. And also, I'm cheating now because remember the one to five percent chance thing? Here are all the bottle spawners in the debug menu. It's time to decorate this island in the ones that we want. So, the land uncommon. I'm gonna put it here. Because I think Uncommon is one of the ones that has the map pieces in it, I think. And now, do we want to add more? Not Common, we're done with that. Bottle, Land, Rare, yes. There is only one of these in the entire game, from my understanding, and it's near the Mermaid's Secret Island. I hate how it looks like it's all going to be buried under the ground, though, and unable to be picked up. See, this is what I'm talking about, though. There's very little room to build on this lot you have to kind of build out into the water and for placing a spawner like this it's not really good so we're just gonna have to decorate the front yard so to speak we could also put the underwater ones here but let's stay with the land ones keep it slightly realistic but yeah that lady that ate the octopus thing i guess the sperm sack of the octopus she bit into it and it exploded in her mouth and latched on to her gums and she like required all kinds of crazy surgery to like I don't know I guess she was like breeding octopuses in her mouth octopi yeah that's the correct one that sounds disgusting and that's why I don't eat sushi and why it's definitely a creepy creature also look at that perfectly defined square again just left of the what no way a burglar way out here? Well, Mad Dog McCracken is brave, which means you're going down. Why can't I do it? We have so much in common, I'd love to get to know you better after I steal your crap. All right. Why can't I fight her? She's going to another lot. No, she's not. Oh, it's autonomous. Yes. See, this is what brave sims can do. They fear not, the burglar. What are you doing sneaking? Gonna go steal my campfire? You best get back here. Yes, you just wait there politely while I come beat you up. That's my fire. Ah, oh, crap, she's gonna win. Whoever jumps first is the one that comes out the victor. Dang it, mad dog, come on. You're supposed to be better than this. She's evil. Nevada. She's a great kisser, though. Why don't we talk to her some more? <laughs> Nevada Alazar? Alzair? Navachipa? <laughs> <laughs> I like that noise. Every time. Well, that was a doggone shame. Mad Dog, you disappoint me. You're supposed to be a big tough dude. Ah, well. Why are you swimming in a suit? Oh no, it's a wetsuit. Okay. Well, we saved another one. That's good. Do we have to do the CPR? Because there's somebody else drowning and that's more important. I like that there's people to save, though. Stop giving CPR. That doesn't matter. Whatever. I think it'll be fine. I don't know how long they flail about in the water until they decide to give up. Hey, it's this dude. Is this, uh... Oh no, it's Sean Vidal. He's a... High school kid, I think. Yes, we've got promoted. Wait, is somebody else? I hear screaming. This Sean Vidal dude, though, I thought he was one of the Keys people. That comes a little bit later. Oh, man, there's two. Look at all these people. Save them all. No CPR. Hopefully that dude doesn't need it because we might not get to these people in time. 
But yeah, what I was gonna say is the Keys family, there's like Scotty Keys, Terrell Keys or something, I think. But that household, in my previous recording attempt of all this, when I had the crazy mermaid roommate. Why are you here if not for rescuing Sims? Did you not see what I was doing? I can't help it that the thing gives you me so little time. Yoto! You saved yourself anyway. Some help that you needed. Jeez, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Friendly. Announced promotion. Did you see that woman I didn't save? We've got a rare fish fossil. This is 900 something, right? No. Well, it's something. Oh. So, let's continue to roast grapes. It's my new favorite food. As well it should be. I just had some really good grapes, actually, on New Year's Eve. There were grapes to snack on, and they were delicious. Like, as perfect as a grape can be. Speaking of perfect, it's time to call Mia Azul. And make some blue things not so blue. The horn of Helm Hammerhand shall sound in the deep one last time. Except not really, because we're gonna keep on calling her, baby. Watch for her, she's coming. Hopefully she did not age up, because then it's, she's gonna take a very long time, because every time a mermaid townie ages, their fins go away. Nope, she's swimming good. Here she comes. We got just the right amount of snooze to have the energy for what we're about to do. Go here. I would love to ask her to move in, but I'm afraid to do that because then, well, I'll have to control two sims and I'd probably lose focus even more. Yes, raining. Perfect. Let's just hang out outside because that'll take care of her hydration need. Mermaids stay perfectly hydrated in the rain, which makes perfect sense. I like little details like that. She is not taking anything. I don't understand what is going on. So now my next go-to thing is the Master of Seduction Lifetime Reward. I was not planning on picking that, but that ensures that any romantic interaction you do succeeds. 100% of the time, I think, unless like, you recently cheated or have been accused of cheating. But see, there's the Hotel Mogul thing I want to save up for. And down here... I mean, Friend of the Kraken is kind of neat. That's another thing I have to show off, the Kraken. Collection Helper, I absolutely need. The rest, I guess we could do without, but I was not sp planning on spending 15,000 points on this seduction thing. Lungs of Steel would be good, but we don't actually need it because I'm going to be a mermaid, and it's very hard. Once you're a mermaid, it's hard in this town to not be a mermaid, to lose the powers. So yeah, let's purchase this against my plans and now see if woohoo would finally work i don't know what's up with her i've never had this problem before normally you do all the flirting complimenting move on to kissing and then you're good for the woohoo and it's no big deal what about a vajay you don't have one you're a fish we also still did not break a sweat well i don't think that's an option for woohoo Extremely irresistible. Please work. Yes, there it is. We're in, baby. I'm coming for you, fish. That's weird. How does that work exactly? Do we want to know? We don't want to know because it's not realistic. There are no such thing as mermaids. Watch a mermaid come through my window now. Go away, mermaid. Or actually, come a little bit closer. She's one pale lady, though. That's all right. I like your porcelain figure, especially with the fish parts. Wait, wait, there's a shell. Pick him up, and then I gotta repeat what I just did. Scuba dive with, where is it? Mia Azul, now take me to your leader. 900? Yes, exactly. Give or take. 903. Yes, see, that's the one good thing about going somewhere with a mermaid. They then go by boat instead of swimming. But yeah, like I was saying, what, what I read online 
is going diving with the action that I just fulfilled sometimes makes them take you to their island, but it's not working. Why is this not working? Well, we're back down here. There's still that unopened treasure chest. The problem is I'm not a mermaid yet. Can I eat the kelp underwater? I don't remember. But in the meantime, we got to do something with her. I don't I don't know. Like I said in my previous attempt, she was an old mermaid, which she she's not yet. Her hair would be gray if she transitioned to elder. But it took until then for her to take me to the island, so maybe we're just not there yet. Yes, she gave me a second piece of kelp. That's beautiful. I don't know why I would need it. Because, yeah, the thing is, once you transition into a mermaid, uh, where is... This is what I'm talking about. I have no idea where stuff is in this dive spot. I know it's around the outside somewhere, that other cave with the chest in front of it. Show me your chest, cave. Seriously, where? Oh, okay, here we go. Woohoo in the cave with Mia Azul, yes. You get a little special moodlet for this. It's not like the, what do they call it, the Mile High Club or whatever? Cloud Nine. It's the opposite of that. It's like the Mile Low Club because you're underwater. Yeah! I don't know how anybody could do it underwater. My old low club. So now, we've pretty much exhausted everything about this place. I love that little animation though, the... No, see, we can't eat it. I was gonna say the mermaid coming out all fluid-like like that. Dang it, I wish I thought about that prior to coming down here, because then I would have just transitioned earlier. Ah, well. Kanji Haladobo. Kanji Haladobo, that's another sim name for you. Alright, it's time. I am not waiting to get to scuba diving level 8, 9, and 10 to continue what I want to do. We're going to eat this mermatic kelp. Mad Dog is about to become a mermaid. What color scales do we want to give him? I'm thinking yellowish orange, since he's got the orange mohawk going on. Yeah! Oh, that's no good. I guess we'll just leave it like that. Yeah, I guess they get the default blue going on there. But. I don't have a mirror. I could go into buy mode and buy a mirror, but this is quicker. We'll go to uh, master controller, basic, change scale color. Again, that's available just by clicking on any mirror as a mermaid. So you don't need this debug tool thing. Master controller cheats. Polishing mermaid scales. Oh, Zaderpa. Zaderpa. So, yeah, we'll go with, no wait, that has to be darker. The top part has to be brighter. It's like an OCD thing I have. Why is there no orange in this? I mean, I could color wheel it. You can make it any color you want, but that's fine. It kind of matches, sort of. I mean, we could do red. That would work as well, but whatever. This is how mermaids travel. Very slowly. <laughs> it just does not look right with Mad Dog. But he is eventually going to his lifeguard job that just spawned. He'd probably be there by now if he was able to take the taxi boats. But mermaids choose to swim. Like I said, the only benefit here is he's building athletic skill with each little graceful dip. <laughs> that face paint, too. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't look right with him. The job ends at 6 p.m. It's going to be over by the time he gets there. And he's going to be so exhausted, he's not going to be able to swim back. That's why we have the sleeping bag. But yeah, you got to go out of your way to tell them to board a boat, then click on wherever it is you want to go. Kara Drag, the ghost, she's drowning finally for real this time. Let's rescue her. Come on. You can do it, Mad Dog. Get over here. Oh my gosh, he's a mile away. 
What are you doing? Is the water cold or something? Jeez, man, the pathfinding. Seriously, turn back into a mermaid. It's the fastest way. There we go. Jeez. It's so stupid. We're not going to make it. There's no way. She's been flailing about for like 20 minutes. No, what? We made it. Don't worry, dead person. I'll save you from dying. There you go. Be happy. Nice. Through a very slow, roundabout, clunky way, we did it. Good things have occurred. Chalk another one up. Do we have to breathe life into the dead body? I like all the different ghost things. Like, if you get attacked by a shark, the ghost is kind of purpley with little... Neon pink lightning bolts looking things. Oh, his outfit changed. Look, he's got sunglasses and he's retained his face paint. That's or no, he hasn't retained it. Never mind. What is going on? She is breathe life into the undead. You see, that's what the drowning one. It's all blue with water droplets. I thought I was a goner. I hate to tell you, but you're already gone. Chobakohan. Chobakohan. There's another sim name for you. Athletic skill level six. Beautiful. How appropriate. An extra addition to what we're about to do, which is scuba dive in Mermaid Grotto and get that level eight chest. Because now, keep in mind, since we're a mermaid, we're level 10 scuba diving skill. In case you forgot that that's a thing that happens. Grab some fish on the way, because every little bit helps. And surely this is the chest that has the last underwater map piece. Of, unless, of course, one of the bottles that spawns underwater has one of those 1 to 5% chance ones. I don't know what else we get in here. I know the next dive area, Pearls Deep, has a really good chest in it. It has two as well, but only one of them is like really good stuff in it. There it is, map piece and a large, brilliant cut tanzanite. Three large palladium ingots. That probably sells for a bunch. Holy crap! 11,000! And it just gets better from here. Not too bad, man. He wants to become a business partner now, too. That's an option. You kind of have to throw a lot of money away at first, but then you start to collect more. So you go broke to become richer later, sort of. But again, in terms of recording videos, that takes some time. Little girl, you're in the middle. Come on, what's going on? Get in there. Back it up. I'm not sure, but this might dump out at, uh... Pearls Deep, which is where I want to head next so that we could just completely finish this underwater scuba diving stuff, unlock the hidden island associated with it, and... still be on course that each video we unlock one of the hidden islands. That's the idea. Yes! Take me there. What? We're still here. Oh! Oh, we got some silver. I think that's right. Pearl's Deep only has one cave, I think. And that one cave leads to the hidden island. So there is no other way. Like all the other ones are linked if you explore a cave system. This one is not that way. Here we go to Pearl's Deep. We also just gained a promotion. Through all this athletic skill building. Not sure if I'm leaving that in or not, because it's taking some time to get here. Got a nice eel. It's always nice to see an eel as soon as you dive down here. But this is Pearl's Deep. This is the final diving area that EA designed for this Isla Paradiso town. It is also the only town catered for these diving spots. You can design your own with the world editing tool and buy debug mode and stuff. But, uh... It's very hard, and it's not as good as these diving spots. Um, 
in the other towns, that is. This is the chest, I believe. This is the one that has all the good stuff. I think there's a gnome in here. Get some kelp. But yeah, this is definitely the way to go. Once you hit scuba diving level 7, yes! Look at all that good stuff. Crystal ball cut, rainbow gem. This stuff sells for a crazy amount. But yeah, level 7 scuba diving turned into a mermaid. The downfall, though, that's something I didn't finish. In order to not become a mermaid, once you are one, and you don't have the debug codes to just take it off, what you have to do is avoid salt water for a very long time, and you get these moodlets. Like, you have to stay hydrated through normal water, fresh water, like showers and things. But you cannot swim in the ocean. And in doing so, you will get a deficiency moodlet that then transitions to something that lasts for 24 hours. And as soon as those moodlets expire, you permanently transform back into a human sim. Yeah, see, so look at all the rare things, ancient fossils and stuff. Good fish, good fossils down here. This is like the only spot you want to come to. 3,000 for that thing. 5,000 for that. And we got all these cool little emerald ruby. And a yellow sapphire. And then, Mr. Mariner Gnome. I could sell him, it's a guaranteed 1,000. Every gnome is 1,000 simoleons, but... I'm not sure, but I seem to remember that he might have a property to them. Like, if I put him on the house property, he, he might increase the odds of seashell spawners. I don't think that's a thing, but I can't remember, so I'm not going to sell him just yet. Because I know there are some gnomes that do have special properties, like the evil one does some weird things. Like, I think if he spawns next to something... He, like a sink, he reduces the sink's repair status or whatever, or clean, cleanliness status or something. It makes it so the sink is probably likely to break the next time a sim uses it. Stuff like that. But not every gnome has a special thing. It would be nice if this guy does, though, just to maybe help with that 1-5% to chance stuff. But I gotta look that up. I don't know if it's a thing. But anyway, I think we're done goofing around here. This is the only cave of Pearl's Deep. This will lead to a hidden island. Uh, I forget what this one is called. It's not Plunder Cove. It's not Plum Bob Island. I don't know. But that'll be good, because then we have those two left, which are the map. Or wait. No, yeah, that's correct. Those two, the resort one, the lifeguard one, and the mermaid one. We've got those ones remaining once we've discovered this. Also, look down here. It's only decoration, but it's kind of neat. Not much else to see, though. Once again, kind of just big, elaborate spaces that make it very hard to see fish when they spawn in. Unless they're in the open, like this. But it's enjoyable all the same. I think I will forever wish to breathe underwater, despite all the stuff I was saying about octopi later. Ah! Oh, there is a second chest. I knew there was one. I don't think this one is as good as the one that had the gnome in it, though. And then we'll explore the cave. A blowfish. What's happening? Nothing's happening. Open the thing, dude. You got stuff! Yeah! A large... Marcus Cut? Or is it Marquis? Anyway, we're done here. Now, for real. Yeah, see, that one's only worth 2,000. Maybe it is worth it to get things cut into various shapes and sizes. But I seem to remember doing that and then trying to sell... the cut things, and they weren't worth much. 
Doesn't matter. What's happening? Getting the... What? Oh, did he... Yes. It's time to reset everything again. The caves aren't working. Let's try this again. Everything has been reset, deleted. There he goes, he's in the cave. So now, we should unlock the hidden island associated with it. I think a diver's den, that's what it's called. And it has another treasure chest on it. And a spawner, I believe, of some kind. Probably uncommon. Come on, message, where are you? You have to be level 10, of course, to get down here. It's kind of your reward for coming this far as a scuba diver. Yes. While exploring the cave, Mad Dog McCracken found a second exit out to the out of the cave system and discovered the island diver's den. And we got some silver. Nice. Yes, so this is a fairly brig property. Brig, I said. Like a ship. No, it's big. And it has this chest. Which I don't think has anything too amazing in it. Oh no, it's got a seashell I can't pick up because it thinks I'm clicking on the water. That is a bunch of crap. EA, why are you garbage? Why didn't you look and move the spawner? I mean, I could move it, but that shell is forever there. I can't even delete it because it'll think I'm trying to delete the ocean. Yeah, I mean, the palladium will probably sell for a lot, but the rest is just middle of the road. Not so great. We have no energy. Time to utilize that sleeping bag. No, that's really not worth that much either. 300. I will say it is very hard to play this game and resist the temptation to use all the cheats that you know exist and make things convenient. Because nobody likes waiting. Waiting is stupid. Oh yeah, whoops. We got the lifeguard thing to do. Yeah, crud. I mean, we have coffee beans, right? We're never gonna make it, though. Unless I teleport, but that's cheating. I don't know. Are you drowning? I was just splashing in the water with her. Is she going... No, she's going to die. What? <laughs> What's going on here? Wait, is he gonna swim out to her? This might be interesting. Oh, she's in the ocean. Dang it. I know, right? Why couldn't she be more useful and die somewhere where you don't have to get in the cold? <laughs> Grim is so bony, it's gonna eat right through him. Don't freeze, Grim. Hang on. Let me get to you. Whoa, he's like glitching and all kind of kinds of crazy. Man, we were just splashing and having fun. Why'd you have to go dying on me? Lady? You were very nice at building up my social and fun. Oh, please. It was his fault. We were splashing in the pool. I was hungry and he wouldn't let me leave. Yeah, well, that's what happens, lady. What? Oh, I guess that was supposed to be her jumping in her gravestone, but it's over on the... What a strange... Set of events. Meanwhile, Mad Dog's just sleeping through it. <laughs> the Sims. <laughs> yeah, what a shot this is! <laughs> Playing beer pong with our dear mermaid friend. In the rain. Perfect for both of these mermaids. There's something romantic about this. This is like if we were able to stand somewhere and constantly have our mouth mouth washed. That is what the equivalent of a mermaid standing in the rain is like. It's like forever hygiene. So imagine if you could never start to stink and need a shower. That is what this is like. I love the rock in the background. See, I just love this so much. What? Put the umbrella away. We're playing beer pong. Why do you need it? Rain is your best friend as a mermaid. Yeah, this is good. I would love a spot like this in real life. Something to do on a, your own personal little dock. 
Standing out in the rain, watching awesome storms over the ocean. Storms are so <laughs> awesome to watch on the beach. <laughs> Too hard. Just watch them blow in and just wreak havoc. Wreak havoc? Something. <laughs> Uh, City Hall, attend Charisma class, finally! I've been putting this off, but it's another thing that we could work on. As soon as we get that one Charisma point, every time we talk to anybody, it starts to build the Charisma skill. Which, I don't know why I waited this long to do it. I kept forgetting, that's all that is, really. But yeah, that in addition to swimming everywhere, it's like we're constantly going to be improving job performance. Then, speaking of, just getting that one point promoted us. Nice. Oh, level two. That's weird. Why did we get two levels? Is it because we've done some talking already? Yeah. What a hero, man. That's the guy you want to see running. But, while we wait for random things, we'll read the cooking skill to a uh, finally get that wish. Hello. Paparazzi. I thought I turned off all the late night stuff. Yeah, well. Yeah! We can cook stuff. That might come in handy if anybody dies. We could go all the way up to cooking level 10 and make ambrosia. That's another thing I like to do. Try to keep all the townies that start alive. Like once they die, revive them. Give them young again potions and stuff. There's lots of different ways that you can play this game. Which is kind of one of the problems when you get hooked back into it because... Until you start exhausting all the stuff... Oh, what? Oh! It's oh, Mad Dog's Beaver. birthday! Oh, Gonna be an adult. Oh, that yes. doesn't give us a lot of time. Well, it's like 20-something oh, more days as I have it in the yes. settings. So he will be... I know the Elder is only like four days long, so Elders die right away, which could be a problem with the Mermaid Lady. Well, yeah, time is ticking. We gotta get those other islands. Hopefully that didn't change any of the outfits. I hate that. I, have, I hate having to go back and edit outfits just because it's not available as like an Elder or whatever. It's so dumb. Uh, should we do it? Become a partner? Yeah, why not? 18,000. I approve of music. I will become a partner. I think it's worth it. I checked the other prices. Like the criminal place is only 15,000, but that means the payout is going to be less too. But he wants to become a business partner and I can't think of a way right now to make our money increase faster, so this might help. It's a once a week collection. It's not that useful. You could buy it out and then it does become pretty useful, but that's a lot of money. So, I don't think we're going to do that just yet. Wait, why is her hair gray? Her hair is gray. She turned into an elder. Oh, that means it's going to take her nine years to get here. Because remember what I said? Anytime a towny mermaid <laughs> ages up, you have to fix their scales and everything again. So, she's not swimming like a mermaid. She's swimming very slowly. All the way here. This also means we need to get rid of the table, and where is it? It is in study, hobbies, and skills. Yes, the chemistry lab table. We have to discover the young again potion. It's the only way. We gotta move her in, give her a young again potion, make her drink it so that she's a young adult, and... Unless we get lucky and she shows us the mermaid secret island right away, whenever she gets here. This could take forever though too, you gotta get to like level 10 logic. It's the last potion that you can discover. Okay, I'm done messing around, it's time to cheat. We're here with Mia, she's old, I'm going to the debug enabler smartphone option. And if you scroll down to skills, You'll notice debug get all alchemy potions. Alchemy is a thing that is part of the Supernatural expansion pack, which I do not have installed. But I guess in all the patch notes, it's here and accessible. And now look at I have all of these potions that are associated with the alchemy skill. The one that I'm about to use on her is like Fountain of Youth Elixir. And it's you need to be like level 9, level 10 alchemy skill from Supernatural. 
So this is extreme cheating, but it's just faster in terms of video purposes. I'm going to clone it as well because it's just handy to have and throw it at her. Something that witches are good at. Anybody who studies alchemy in the supernatural expansion. But this will make her not old. <laughs> Boo, I hate you old. That's kind of mean. This is kind of neat, though. I remember when I first discovered that this was available even without having Supernatural. I was so excited to just go around. Like, there's one potion that, if you throw it at people, it instantly makes them obese. And that's just fun if you're playing as a mean sim. Just go terrorizing the town. Yeah, she's back. And better than ever. But see, now the problem is I can sell the remaining alchemy potions that have been debugged into my menu. And, um... Yeah, we gotta edit her scales again, because even though she looks right, she doesn't swim right. So you have to reset everything in order so that she swims faster like an actual mermaid and doesn't have the weird feet thing again. But yeah, see, now it's like a money cheat as well, because I could sell all the other potions. Garbage. Nobody is here. It's time for more cheating. Sleep in the bag, and let's debug enabler the chair of life savings. Incre increment, whatever it is, increment lifeguard thing by one. Let's do this a couple times until I'm bored with it. Hey, who are you? Interesting. Okay, back to the chair. <laughs> I got distracted. Alright, you know what? I'm not done cheating since we've already been debugging everything like crazy. It's taking forever to find things to make money. So another thing, very similar to the debug alchemy potions in that same menu of the debug menu, skills get fish. This gives us 20 of every possible fish in the game. So you can imagine how much selling all of them is worth. I think it's over 100,000 simoleons. And this is, once again, just for sp to speed things up. I want to buy Sparkling Sands Resort and get started on the five-star resort thing. Let's see. Grocery store. Yeah, look at that. 101,000. But uh, that's probably a good stopping point. So next time we will actually purchase the resort and get started on finding some more hidden islands. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.